Hello people, I am the Orconic Gamer, and a lot of people have been asking me my thoughts on the new rumored Superman game, what, like how to make a good Superman game, what I think about and everything, and I made a video a while back about how to make a good Superman game, today I basically want to make a sort of updated version of that, and just add some things that reiterate some points, so let's get into it. The first thing that people have to realize when they're playing this game is the fact that it is a video game because I see a lot of complaints about, well, you can't do a Superman game because why couldn't I just fly out of the city and go to Gotham or London or wherever I want to go? Uh, same reason you can't jump in the Batwing and fly to Metropolis or wherever you want to go. Like, same reason in the Batman games. You you know, it's a video game. And same thing when it comes to, like, well, what about, you know, killing civilians? How does that work? Well, in the Arkham games, Batman goes up and you're, when you're punching at civilians, they literally just stand there and it does nothing. It looks like Batman's doing, like, a kung fu demonstration or something. Same with Superman because it is a video game. That's what people have to realize. So if you can wrap your head around the fact that it's a video game, Game, then you'll be fine with that but there are some people that are just like well this just doesn't make any sense well it's a video game we accept it with Batman accept it with Superman as well the most popular thing I see though with people's ideas for Superman game is they're like hey how about we have Superman lose his powers at the beginning and then regain them throughout the game so that way he's not OP and it makes it for a more interesting Superman game no, that doesn't really work well for me because I want to play as Superman. I don't want to play as Batman again. I want to play as Superman. I don't want to play as a guy that's dressed up like Superman, says he's Superman, but doesn't have the powers. No, that would be stupid. I'd hate that. Now, my way for getting around this, because obviously if you're just fighting normal people throughout the whole game, that wouldn't be very fun. Uh, to me, the best setting for this game would be New Krypton. And... New Krypton is a great storyline in the comics to where Superman resizes the bottled city of Kandor and so they become their own planet and they're called New Krypton. Uh, now, to me, what you do is you do sort of like Asylum. You know how Asylum opened with that like little two-minute cutscene and then you had that sort of end where you're walking Joker for like another ten minutes or so? Just do that because uh, that is basically a huge cutscene because when you're walking Joker, it's pretty much an in-game cutscene because you're doing nothing. You're just along for the ride. That's what you do for Superman, at least to me, that's what you do. You just open it up with like a long cutscene explaining exactly how New Krypton happened so that way you're catching everyone up instead of just throwing everyone on New Krypton. They're like, what? Why Why is everyone flying around? Why is Krypton, why is like Krypton back? What is going on? Instead, you just open it up with that cutscene and it explains everything and there you go. Now, in the comics, Superman joins New Krypton, becomes a citizen, to keep an eye on them. Because, obviously, you can't leave a planet full of Kryptonians unchecked. That's uh, it's not a wise decision. So, he decides to go join them and keep an eye on them. because Especially because the military leader is General Zod, and he doesn't really trust them. But, Alora, who is Supergirl's mother, is the uh, leader of the planet. Well, one of them in the council. But, anyways, uh, she trusts Zod, and it, even though against Clark's wishes, Clark told her not to have Zod be the military leader she's like nah he'll be fine so Superman comes in he pretty much becomes Zod's number two and he trains everyone how to use their powers because he's had the most experience and he knows how to use them well to where everyone else is kind of under is, is a little out of control not really knowing how to control their power so Superman helps them control their powers and use them better and especially in the military so that way they can you know use them efficiently and that's his sort of role in the Kryptonian military and throughout the new Kryptonian storyline the new Krypton storyline and tons of stuff happens like how Jordan shows up Adam Strange shows up and I think this would be a good way to open up the universe so that way they could introduce some characters if they wanted to create other solo games for them later on or Justice League game this way you're introduced to some people early on I think it would be a really good way to do it now as far as what you'll be doing on New Krypton there will be a couple of things number one you are trying to figure out what Zod's doing see if he's trying to start a war with Earth or anything or just basically sort of some espionage type stuff trying to spy on on Zod and figure things out. And I think that'd be cool, like, if there's a part where you have to break into, like, a secure place where you can't go, Zod wouldn't let you, but you gotta break in there and sneak, and that could be sort of the predator-ish type of this game. I think that'd be pretty cool, sneaking around, trying to get info on what Zod doing. Another thing is, 
there are sort of Kryptonian terrorists on New Krypton. Like, there's even a part to where uh, Zod almost gets assassinated. He gets shot, but he's able to heal because, you know, Kryptonian technology and everything. And, uh, but yeah, he gets shot and you have to chase down. Well, in the comics, Superman chases down the guy who assassinated him. I think that'd be a really cool level. Like, you're just out there with Zod. He gets shot and then you gotta chase down his assassin throughout the city, like a high-speed chase. I think that would be really cool. And so, things like that. Basically, you're fighting the Kryptonian terrorism while trying to figure out what Zod's doing, and also uh, you'd be fighting, uh, well, not fighting, but you'd be trying to figure out if Earth's trying to start a war as well, because there is a part in the book to where they do go down to Earth because they're trying to make a treaty because, you know, they're Earth's new friend basically, they're like, hey, we're here now, and, you know, we're super powerful, but we don't want to start a war, that's definitely not what we're trying to do uh, and during that Doomsday attacks but it's like 12 Kryptonians versus one Doomsday, and they kill them, like, really quickly, but to me, it'd be cool if they sort of made Doomsday a bit more powerful than that and, like, you're just sitting there fighting Doomsday, and you're watching Doomsday kill your fellow Kryptonians, I think that'd be make for a pretty cool level, and you gotta make sure Doomsday doesn't kill everyone, destroy everything, I think that'd be a pretty cool level, like, you spend, like, an hour on Earth, and the rest is on New Krypton, but for, like, that hour, you're, you know, you're trying to figure out what the, uh, U.S. military is trying to do, while at the same time, also, you fight Doomsday and everything, I think that'd be pretty cool. Another thing that I think could make for a cool level would be a part where you don't have powers, like for 30 minutes. I don't want it to be like the entire game or like the very beginning of the game, but for a uh, part of the game, because even in the comic, Superman shoots himself with a red sun so that way he can go in and sort of talk to the terrorists that have, uh, they're not really terrorists, but that's what they're sort of referred to as. Uh, anyways, he goes in there to talk to them because they uh, kidnap some of the councilmen and so the, as hostages, and so he goes in there to talk to them without any powers and he shoots himself with red sun. It says, the, it affects him for 30 minutes so I think that'd be cool to have like a level where you're doing something for 30 minutes like maybe something on earth or any, or something like that so that way you can tr prove you're peaceful when you come down there at first like you shoot yourself with red sun so that way you're like sort of sneaking around without powers I think that'd be pretty cool and then later on doomsday attacks you know after that 30 minutes so that way you can fight him with powers obviously because it wouldn't go so well without powers I wouldn't that wouldn't be very great, but uh, anyways, uh, what who I want to be the sort of main villain of this is sort of a mix of Zod and Brainiac, because I want the final, like, three hours or so to be the last stand of Krypton, which is a storyline to where Brainiac comes and he attacks Krypton to sort of finish the work that he started, because, you know, he's the one who bottled Can uh, Kandor in the first place, and I think that'd be awesome for a sort of Protocol 10 moment. Because you know what I mean? Like, in Protocol t in uh, Arkham City, Protocol 10 activates towards the end when you get out of Joker's Fun House and you see all the helicopters out. I think that'd be pretty cool if, like, you're doing something, like a mission, like you stop the Kryptonian terrorists, like, yeah, and then you get out of the building and you just see Brainiacs attacking everyone. Like, tons of Brainiac robots coming from the sky and then just, like, killing tons of Kryptonians. Because that's what happens in the book, and it's really awesome. Like, you see a bunch of them just killing Kryptonians because what they do is they blast with the red sun energy and then they have this sort of drill in their hand and they just stick it in their head. Also something I forgot to mention earlier, the Kryptonians do have weapons to where they shoot you with a, with red sun energy, and then they have a projectile, so a bullet that follows it up to kill you. So yeah, that would be a way for when you're fighting other Kryptonians as Superman to change it up a bit to where it's not just boring fighting the same Kryptonians, that they have weapons and stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, I think this would be awesome, like going throughout the city trying to save fellow Kryptonians, and then you have the part where you gotta break into Brainiac's ship, and you gotta stop Brainiac. I think this would be for an awesome sort of three hour sequence of trying to save people on the ground, and going up trying to figure out how to get in his ship then when you're in a ship trying to figure out where everything is trying to figure out how to stop Brainiac because in the end they find out that Brainiac and Lex Luthor they work together to do this um, and Brainiac it, it ends up getting beaten by Zod actually like in the end Brainiac crashes because Superman stops his ship and Zod's just like I'm gonna take you down without powers or anything he shoots himself with red sun energy and then just beats the crap out of Brainiac and it was awesome but anyways yeah that's how I'd make a Superman game I think it would be awesome like throughout you're trying to sort of uh, discover plots of what's going on between Earth and Zod if they're trying to if they're trying to start a war or anything. Then also you got Kryptonian terrorism to stop and like you know because just like there's bad humans or bad, there's bad Kryptonians as well. So you got to stop those guys, especially because they're really dangerous. If you've got some like just five bad Kryptonians, that's pretty bad because those people are incredibly powerful. So Superman's got to stop them. And uh, yeah, also in the end I would set up a War of the Superman because that could be the next game. That'd be awesome. That's the uh, that is the story arc that follows up New Krypton in the comic, well, Last Damn New Krypton in the comic. It's just a really cool storyline to where Earth and New Krypton are at war, so you've got, t like, all of Earth's superheroes fighting 
all of New Krypton, plus you've got the military that has created anti-Kryptonian weapons, and it's just awesome. It's really cool. Like, the storyline itself isn't, like, amazing or anything, but it's really cool just having this massive battle uh, for New Krypton Earth, and, like, it's a it's a pretty cool storyline. Uh, I really like it, and I think it would make for a great game, and to set it up with the, after the first Superman game to be the sequel, I think that'd be great. Um, but anyways... Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of my idea and what would you do to make a good Superman game. Uh, obviously, I didn't go into gameplay mechanics or anything like that because I'm not a I'm not a game designer. I can't really speak on that or anything. I just set up like you know a world to where a Superman game could work. But yeah, I just want to hear your guys' thoughts on this and what you guys would do to make a good Superman game. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.